All right, big day. Go, go, go. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is the day. Today is the day that the Miracle 8 are being released out into the Greater Reserve. It's a big day for everyone involved. Um, it's it's uh, come so quickly. We all were talking about it just the other day, saying we cannot believe how quickly this process has gone. Um, just to provide you guys with a bit of a game plan, what are we going to do? We've already collared the cheetah. We've got three of the Miracle 8 with satellite uh, tracking collars, so it's two females and one male and then the rest all have uh, VHF collars. So we can pretty much keep an eye on all of them. Um, that was step one. <clears throat> we did that uh, the other last week and we just wanted to make sure that they recovered properly. So obviously everything you do on Cheetah can stress them out. And uh, clearly, even though they were very calm and chilled, they obviously were stressed a bit because they had the runs for a day or two. So we waited for that to clear up and I waited for them to eat nicely again and then we decided on a date uh, to release which is today um, we couldn't have asked for a better day it's nice and cool uh, lots of cloud cover it looks like there's going to be some rain and all we're going to do is we are going to lure them out with a zebra carcass we have a zebra carcass that we're going to lure them out with it's going to be their last supper so lure them out with the, the zebra carcass uh, let them eat and shut the gate behind them and then it's up to them. From there, we'll track them daily. We'll look at uh, where they're going. We'll keep an eye on them and we'll get a visual on them for at least um, a month to, to six weeks. Yeah, that's the strategy. I'm pretty sure that there'll be a few curve balls thrown at us, but that's the nature of the beast. And guys, thank you uh, once again for uh, supporting this initiative. I always like to remind everyone that if it wasn't for this initiative, eight cheetah would be dead anyway. So the fact that we can give eight a chance to contribute to um, the cheetah meta population is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful opportunity. So as I'm driving in, who's there to greet the cheetah? But they look like they are on the hunt. They're definitely after something. I think I've seen what they've seen, and it's uh, wildebeest on the other side of the fence. So, that ain't going to work. It's really interesting behavior because <clears throat> they all are totally focused. It's incredible. They, uh, it's hard to see from the GoPro, but they are like absolutely focused on that wildebeest. And they want to go and, go and grab him, but unfortunately he's on the other side of the fence so yeah the hunting instincts are there they are um they're ready all right guys so um we've now offloaded the carcass uh carcass is there in the road it's about 40 meters from the gate the cheetah have followed the scent so they are ready to come out um as I said, it's a nice, cool, cool day. What we, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a GoPro just by the carcass so that we can see them running in. I'll try and retrieve it later. Hopefully it's still in one piece. And then uh, we're going to go and open the gate from the, uh, from the Toyota there. All right, Caroline, because you're the mother, you can do the honors. All right, guys, so success. Uh, we have managed to get those guys out of the enclosure. It wasn't that hard. Once they saw the zebra carcass, they were like, yay, free meal. 
So last free meal, by the way. So enjoy. But what I've been really impressed about, I must just say, is the, the vigilance. So not all of them tucked into the carcass and ate all at once. It was literally four would eat, four would be looking around, sussing out the situation. And then as they, you know, as the, those four filled up, then they would kind of do relay. And that's good. And at one or two times, um, they got a fright and they're all scattered off the carcass. And that's a good thing too. So we have uh, vigilance and awareness. And um, yeah, they, they seem to be, they seem to be doing okay. It's early days. Uh, we've just been, we've spent about two hours with them. Just making sure that everything goes according to plan. Um, they can't get back into the enclosure. The gate's been locked. That was on purpose. Um, and this is their last carcass that they're getting from us. The rest is up to them. I keep on looking around because any moment now I expect a hyena to come walking down that road or even a lion. And this is what it's all about. This is where the the rubber hits the road, guys. They've got to now become wild cheetah. And uh, we've been discussing the one element that we cannot teach them. We've been discussing it for months. How do we teach them to avoid other predators? And the simple answer is you can't. It's without them being exposed to them, without them learning that early on from their mother, you can't. So they've just got to learn it by seeing it and reacting to it and we just pray that they react in the correct way which is obviously run away cool day today um so yeah maybe they'll keep on feeding and then uh, the real test is tonight and good luck to them well this is a good omen guys on the way to the um Miracle 8 release site and uh, driving down the road I come across three white rhino. Super excited. Love, love, love to see them. So cool. With a baby. Man, oh man, that's so awesome. Oh God, uh, that was a really good omen uh, to see those rhino, uh, super cool to see. I'm always, always excited to see rhino. These days when I go to the Kruger Park, I don't see too many rhino. And when I used to go to the park, I used to see plenty. So it just shows you how the population has been decimated. Are we really winning the war? That's the question. Sure, what a day yesterday. Um, yesterday the Miracle 8 got released. My biggest concern was that uh, there was a lion in the area um, and he would catch um, wind of, of the, the carcass, the zebra carcass, and uh, that he would come there and that would be their first interaction with a large predator and my worst fears were realized I didn't think it would happen in the day to be honest but uh, my worst fears were realized when I was called out to go do an anti-poaching flight for Dena King um, just to go and track um, an individual who had um, infiltrated the reserve and was clearly trying to be undetected so just as I'm about to take off I get a text message from Caroline telling me that the lion has chased the cheetah off uh, or the lion has possession of the carcass and that she can only find four cheetah. Oh boy, uh, nerves are frayed. Um, anyway, uh, with a lot of searching and a lot of uh, support and efforts from everyone, um, the other four were located and what had actually happened is that the lion had 
come in and who knows what happened, but four scattered in one direction and four scattered in the opposite direction. And so fortunately no one was uh, injured and uh, that was uh, the Miracle 8's first interactions with a predator, a lion. And they all survived, guys. So that is, um, yo, that is a very, very good news story. And uh, hopefully they will realize, and it's something that I've always worried about, is that they cannot sit there just, you know, relaxing around a carcass like this, they've got all the time in the world. Um, they need to get in there, they need to eat, and then they need to, you know, they can hang around, but they need to be super vigilant and then, you know, obviously have their fill quickly before other predators catch wind of it. And um, so the good news is, is that they were vigilant and they ran away. And uh, that then last night um, I saw on the on the uh, satellite tracking that a hyena had also come to the carcass. So within the area we have hyena, lion and the Miracle 8. And so I am now heading in to help get visuals on all eight of them. So where are they now? Ah, they, uh, uh, they're there. Yeah. yeah. So there's two. Mr. Nasty is definitely here close by, but we haven't seen them yet. All right. Well, there's three there. You see three now? Yeah. Okay. Three cheetah there. There's one there. Four. So you got four here, yeah. and then how many are you picking up there? Uh, four. You're picking up four. Yeah. So they're not far from each other. This is good. I'm very proud. And what they did now is also the one gain higher ground, lower yeah. ground, and they started calling calling for each other. Yeah. Welcome to the big bad wild. Right guys, so we got two visuals out of the eight. That's the female. Looks a bit looks a bit more stressed than the male. So she's sweating quite a bit and looks concerned. Um, that's why the monitoring is extremely important because uh, you might get a satellite update which shows you that the cheat is alive but it might not mean that the cheat is doing well so for the next six to well four to six weeks at least every day this is what's going to be done caroline and uh, brenton george basically got to go and try and get visuals on these cheetah every single day and then kind of give them a condition score i mean they they they're still scoring good but uh, they ate yesterday so yeah they need to they need to regroup recollect they've been stressed out by mr lion and so now yeah time to regroup and realize that uh, the rubbers hit the road and uh, it's time to be it's time to be wild I'm super happy to report that we have found six cheetahs lying peacefully here under the tree and they all look pretty relaxed and chilled and uh, so I think all that needs to happen is for those two uh, to find these six, which they shouldn't take too long in doing so because they are not far away. So it's only a matter of time before they reunite. And wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is brilliant. Um, they survived their first night. It's been a day literally in a few hours, their first 24 hours in the wilderness. Uh, we feel like, uh, we feel like happy parents. Um, and it's just really cool to, to see. 
And there they are with a nice vantage point. They can see what's coming for miles on end. And uh, there we have it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy uh, the video today, please do like and share. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on another cool wildlife video. Until next time from me, Kevin. Cheers. Bye.